interrupt this program to bring this special report about the business of opera. Opera, advertising, and the return to popular culture. During the first decade of the 21st century, it appeared that the popularity of opera was once again on the decline. In many places, this was marked by a significant reduction in funding and closure of several opera companies. While others introduced major cost-saving measures, popular works and revivals dominated the repertoire of most large-scale companies. Just a few examples from current and recent television campaigns. How many of them this? Don't worry. Got enough for both of us.
don't mind me asking, but if you're really impressed with my potatoes, would you mind writing me a letter of recommendation? If, if you wouldn't mind? Oh, sure, Dr. Lena, I'll write you a letter. Great, I actually have a pen and paper right here, if you wouldn't mind writing it. Um, Ma'am, you know what would be da bomb? If you could sing this while writing it. Please, Louise Nathalina, isn't this whole thing a bit much already? I mean, I guess I could sing it, but I haven't sung in a while. I'm a little embarrassed, you know? No, ma'am, trust me, it will be stupid fresh. Okay, I shall do it. <laughs> Treble clap. 
Four, four time signature, D major key signature, tempo andante, chord note, mezzo, forte, lyric, I, G, A flat, lyric, one, A, A flat, lyric, two, D, E, F sharp, A flat, triplet, crescendo, lyric, stay every crescendo, D, A flat, forte, lyric, ba, C sharp, A note, day crescendo, lyric, D. Thank you. Oh man, thank you so much. Thank you. So, I um I uh went to the opera the other day. Yeah. Any of y'all ever do that? Yeah, so um we get there and it's Don Giovanni. Y'all know that one? How straight up misogynistic is that opera? I mean, there's this one scene where there's this guy, Leporello, he's Don's friend, right? And he's talking to this poor woman. She's all upset because she thought that she was Don's only girlfriend. Boy, was she wrong. But uh, he gets to the end of the list. Leporello reads the whole thing. And when he gets to the end, he looks her right in the face. And he says, and basically what all that means is, provided that she's wearing a skirt, you know what he's going to do to her. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, he's, I can't believe it. I was sitting there next to my girlfriend and I'm thinking, oh, poo, he did not just say that to her face. Man, crazy times people used to live in. Crazy times, I tell you. And, um, you know, it's not all that much better nowadays, is it? I mean, have any of y'all seen the statistical report that came out about the Darmstadt Ferien Kurs of Neue Music Festival this past summer? Anybody? I mean, it's like men won in every single category. You've got uh, most performed composer, you've got most employed performer, and I guess it's actually just those two categories. But I mean, seriously, why in the 21st century are women still not afforded the same opportunities as men in new music. So anyway, y'all have been a great audience. Thank you so much for being here. If any of you know anything about coding, come find me afterwards. And you know what they always say, the opera ain't over until the tall baritone sings. So, oh.